Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about glycolysis. Glycolysis is the first step in cellular respiration, the process that ultimately produces the majority of your body's energy. Glycolysis literally means splitting of sugar. In this case, our sugar is glucose. The process takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell and consists of a series of 10 chemical reactions that are divided into two main phases. The first phase is the energy investment phase or preparatory phase. And this is where the cell puts in a bit of energy to kickstart glycolysis. In this phase, two ATP molecules are used to activate glucose. There are five steps in the preparatory phase. In each step, an enzyme modifies the sugar molecule. I won't be going over each step in detail in this video, but we'll link to a resource in the description if you're interested. It is pretty fascinating. In this preparatory phase, an ATP is used in step one and an ATP is used in step three. At the end of this phase, the larger sugar molecule is split into two smaller sugar molecules, setting us up for the second phase, the payoff phase. There are five more steps in this phase, each with their own enzyme to do all the work. The payoff phase produces four ATP and two NADH for each glucose. NADH is another energy carrier that will come in handy later on in the cell's energy production journey. We end the payoff phase with two small sugar molecules called pyruvate that will head into the next process in cellular respiration. The crucial information to understand about glycolysis is that we start with one glucose molecule, add two ATP for the energy investment in the preparatory phase, and produce four ATP, two NADH, and two pyruvate molecules in the payoff phase. The ATP can be used for energy right away, and the NADH and pyruvate will be used later in the cellular later on in cellular respiration. I also want to note that this is not the balanced chemical equation, and just a helpful one for understanding glycolysis. Now you can learn about the Krebs cycle in this video. It's the next process in cellular respiration, or watch this video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.